Hello, my amazing artists. Today we are talking about paint brushes. You know them, you love them, you use them all the time. But maybe you didn't know there were so many different kinds of brushes. On this slide, you can see lots of different types. We're really going to be talking about three main types that we use in class. The first one is the round brush. Now you be, might be thinking, Miss Morocco, hold up, hold up. These don't look round to me, they look pointy. And you're probably right. They're called round brushes because you can hold them in your finger and roll them. So they're round in the sense that they're more like a cylinder, not really like a ball. They have a really nice soft tip and it's often used for watercolor painting. We use round brushes most of the time. I find that they can make a thick or a thin line. Flat brushes are really, really popular because you can spread a lot of paint very quickly. Oftentimes you'll see painters who paint the inside of houses or murals on big walls use flat brushes because they cover the most surface, right? They have this really wide, flat tip. Fan brushes are also very popular, but they're for more detailed work. If you've ever watched the famous artist Bob Ross, he often will use a fan brush to paint evergreen trees in his landscape paintings. It makes a really wide, thin line. There are also three parts of a paintbrush. The first part is the part you probably know is the handle. So the handle right here is the part you hold on to. The ferrule is the metal piece that connects the handle to the bristles. And the bristles can also be called the hair of the brush or actually what you use to spread the paint. To buy paint brushes, you need to know about sizes. So they're pretty simple. They go up by even numbers and they can get really, really small. And the smaller the brush, the smaller the number. And then it increases as the bristles get bigger and bigger and bigger. So you might have a specific type of brush that you like. Usually in class, we use number eight. I find that that's a good size. It's not too big. It's not too small. It's a nice medium size. Last but not least, caring and cleaning paint brushes. So, paint brushes do not like to sit in the water too long, and they really, really hate when you leave paint in their hair and it gets all stiff and crackly and then you can't really use the paintbrush anymore. So this is a really great illustration of all the different um, ways that people use paintbrushes. So if you don't take care of them, their hair will fall loose, they'll get too soft or they'll get too hard and you won't be able to use them anymore. If you take care of your paintbrushes, they will look super nice and clean and work really well for a long time. Storing your paintbrushes, you always want to have their hair in the air. Whoop whoop, hair in the air, like they just don't care. And then they'll work even better because if you store them upside down, their hair will get all squished and flat. And that's not what you want in a paintbrush. You want to give your paintbrush a good hair day. So the two most important rules for cleaning paintbrushes is to wash off all the paint before it dries and to dry all paint brushes with their hair pointing up. So wash off all the paint and then let them dry with their hair pointing up. All right, ladies and gentlemen, now you know all the different things you need to about paint brushes. When you go into Seesaw, you will see that there is an activity here for you. When you click on the add response button, it will open up this template. 
So when you are using the template, there are three pages. This first page is about the different uh, kinds of paintbrushes. So you're going to draw a line to the correct paintbrush. So for example, this word says round brush. So where are the round brushes? Hmm. You'll have to draw a line from that word, that title, right? Round brush to the correct brush. Next page, you're going to do some dragging and dropping of the parts of the brush onto the picture. So I have a nice flat brush here. There are three different parts, right? We have bristles, handle, and barrel. So you have to remember which part of this paintbrush are the bristles. Which part is the handle and which part is the ferrule? And you can click and drag it right over to where you think it should go. Last but not least, we have a yucky paintbrush that needs some love. Can you remember what the two rules of cleaning a paintbrush are? You have two text boxes here, so you can click right in and type in those two important reminders when you're cleaning a paintbrush. I have some pictures here to help jog your memory. All right, when you're all done, you can click that green check mark, ladies and gentlemen, and I will know that you are all. Great work learning about all the different parts of a paintbrush. I can't wait to see how your activities are completed.